And now, four genius ways to hide a key. Before you learn where to hide a key, you need to know where not to hide a key. These places might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people put a key in a mailbox. Not a good idea. Or how about this one? Hey, I'll leave my key under the front doormat. That potted plant by the front door seems like a perfect place. Don't do it. You never want to be locked out, so let's hide a key in four genius places. For this first one, we're going to need a PVC outlet box and a piece of gray electrical PVC. These outlet boxes come in all different shapes and sizes. This is a three-quarter inch one, and when you open the little top, there's a place inside for wiring, or in our case, a key. And the conduit is just three-quarter inch electrical gray PVC to match the outlet box. Now we have to do a little sneaky work on this outlet box, and that means removing the bottom screw. I held it firmly in my vise, and then using a hacksaw, I cut the head of the screw right off. Now we're left with just a screw head, and I put the outlet box back in the vise, and using some adhesive, I glued that screw head to the outlet cover. This is just going to give us easy access to that outlet box. Now you want to find a place where there's other electrical utilities to make it blend in. Right here should work great, so using a small shovel, I dug out some of this shell, and then I forced that PVC down into the ground. Now you'll probably want to go at least a foot in the ground just to make sure that PVC pipe stays in place. I moved some of the shell around to hold it in place. Now that we have our fake screw in place, all you need to do is loosen the top screw just a little bit and that'll give you enough room to swivel open the top. Then drop your key inside. Then just push that outlet cover on top of the conduit and you're set. It camouflages great with all these utilities and no one will know there's a key in there. You may have seen these fake sprinkler heads that hold a key inside. Well, to me, they look fake. So we're going to use a real sprinkler head. Unscrewing the top reveals the inside of the head along with a big spring. We need to modify this one as well. So back over to the vise. Using some snips, I clipped off the plastic end of this so the spring could be set free. We'll use this guy for another project down the road. Into the vise and it's time for more hacking with our hacksaw. We're going to cut the head of that sprinkler head right off. It still screws on, but now leaves a completely hollow inside. Now it's just a matter of finding a spot that would have a sprinkler head. Using your shovel, dig out a nice little area. Dig out enough so that the sprinkler head will be flush with the top of the ground. And once it's in place, go ahead and fill in around that sprinkler head. Once it's buried, remove that top and drop in your key. Screw the top back on and you're set. It's just a regular old sprinkler head now. If you're looking for royalty-free videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds, search no further than Videoblocks. I'm using some clips from Videoblocks in this video. Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing libraries with over 3 million video elements. All of the clips come with a royalty-free agreement so you'll never get hit with a copyright claim. Right now, fans of my show get a special offer from Videoblocks seven days for free so you can try it out. You'll get access to their massive video library for free. All you need to do is go to my link bit.ly slash kipkvideoblocks or click the link in the description box below to start downloading for free for seven days. Video Blocks, your one-stop spot for royalty-free video. I bet you didn't know you could hide a key in a fence. Well, you can and here's how. Just about every aluminum or chain link fence has a fence post, which means they have a fence cap. So we're going to pick a cap and pull it off. And we're also going to need a small piece of chain. Now you could use wire or string. I just chose chain because it's heavy duty. And you need some strong adhesive that'll stick to the inside of that fence post cap. I'm going to mold it on the inside of the cap and make sure it covers a nice area. Then I'm going to lay that chain in place and fold my adhesive over that. Then it's time to just let this set overnight. Okay, the chain is secure inside the fence post cap. And now I'm just going to add a standard key ring to the very end of that chain. And then I'll add my key to that key ring. Now we just take our cap and lower the key inside the post and your key is hidden and secure. 
Now for this last one, you're going to need a medicine bottle. I have three different sizes to choose from, and you're going to also need a smooth rock. For this one, I'll be using some quick setting epoxy. Now this is that two part stuff that you spill out and blend together to make it really super strong. When it's mixed, we'll apply a liberal amount to the top of the medicine bottle, then take that smooth rock and set it in place and let that dry. Now this works best with an area in your yard that has rocks or shell in it. So I dug a little area right here in my shell, added the key that I want to hide, and buried the medicine bottle. Now be sure to leave that rock exposed at the top of the surface so you can find it. And as you can see here, it's really camouflaged. Hey, if you haven't been to my website in a while, check it out. There's a lot of new things going on there, including documents you can download, resources, and parts for a lot of my projects. So click the link on the screen and head on over to kipk.com and check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.